It's my birthday. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so I'm 27. So how do I feel about turning 27? 26 for me was a year of healing. I discovered strength training. I went to therapy. I took care of myself inside and outside and I really built on myself so it was a year of healing for me. 27 for me I feel like it's a year of growth. I'm going back to drawing board making sure I have all my plans laid out making sure I'm working on myself to be better and that this is the path I want to go and I'm excited. I'm excited about this new year. For me this feels like the real new year feeling. You know the feeling you feel like ten things are about to change it's time to like get back to what you were doing and be more consistent how you feel in the new year that's how i feel right now because i didn't actually feel like i had a new year if that made sense during my new year there were things i was doing and i was very busy so i never really had a lot of time to sit down and be like oh the new year let me think about what i want for 2022 um so it didn't really feel like i had a year like a new year to look forward to but this few days the past few days have felt like that for me and i've gone back to drawing board i've been more organized i've been going to the gym exercising eating better going back to making foods that i love as a nigerian and just being more myself i'm looking forward to this year and what this year has to offer and yeah i'm grateful for my friends and people i've met uh, along the way and in this journey and yeah thank you jesus thank you for giving me the gift of a new year so this is my outfit it's just a top very cute top i had my hair on this morning it's in the cute pony i fixed my nails myself oh honestly this week i was feeling a little down i was like oh my god I don't look forward to things on my birthday. Things have been kind of monotone and I haven't been looking forward to anything. So I was like, okay, let me find something to look forward to. So I'm like, I'm going to go skydiving. I'm looking forward to travel. I don't know. God just really helped me get out of the funk. So I feel better now. I'm back to filming. Boop, 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 boop. And today's my birthday. So today we're just going to have dinner. I'm going to have three dresses to pick from. So I have this really cool, like yellow dress. Maybe I'll try it on... I don't know, I have this really cool yellow, yellow dress I'm most likely to wear. And I have this orange dress I love. And I have one that it's like, okay, let me show you the colors. So I have this yellow dress. You can see how beautiful it looks on my skin. And it has like cross at the back. And then I have this orange. So, so nice. And wait, I have another one. Oh, give me a second. Woo, boo, 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 boo. I have this one isn't it so beautiful so I have no idea what to wear they're all bright because I've decided I'm no longer hiding anymore I'm time to show the world this is maybe this is me take it or leave it and I'm gonna wear bright colors I'm gonna wear beautiful things because I can so Ta -da! <laughs> anyways i'm ready to start preparing I, I might do some makeup it's been a while but i think i look really nice without makeup i'm wearing some light makeup so i don't have the ingress <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna pick a dress i'm most likely wearing the yellow one though leaning heavily towards that so yeah i'm just gonna have dinner with my friends at a nice restaurant and go home <laughs> i called the cake place and i was able to order like a hazelnut raspberry one that looks really nice i'm very excited to try that so And she was singing a beautiful song. I'm like, who I'm is this it. angel <laughs> at work? <laughs> and so I had to go and see her. I'm like, okay, hello. We introduced ourselves. That's how we met. My favorite memory is her being afraid of a dog when we went on a walk at the park. Oh my gosh. Favorite memory. <laughs> it was a scary moment. He was such a happy dog. He was not. He was coming at me. I still see that. <laughs> 
So I met Alison uh, also because of work. Uh, she sent me an email saying, hey, do you want to hang out? you want to do something? <laughs> I don't remember exactly the words in the email. And then after that, that's the story. And then we traveled together, we went to Chicago, we, went, we did a bunch of stuff together. And yeah, I mean, I have so many stuff, good stuff about Alison. She's a very transparent, like clear person. She tells you what she wants. She tells you how she feels. It's like, you can be like, you can connect easily with Alison. So that's, that's what I have to tell about her. <laughs> um, so we met over like WebEx, but then I didn't actually meet her in person until like, what, last fall maybe? So, um, but favorite memory with Allison probably when we went to Chicago to buy her car. That was quite an experience. <laughs> um, but um, Allison, probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. One of the most genuine people I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we took the bus together one time. So that about three weeks ago. And I got off, and she got off, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember the first thing she said, but I know she complimented me. I was like, hey, do you work here? <laughs> yeah, do you work here? I like it. Yes, I do, I do. I mean, we were like talking for like 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, cool. She's so sweet that I discovered she's Nigerian. I'm like, oh, girl, really? And then we started talking, and ever since then, it's been nice. She's, she's so cool. I don't think it's something I would have done because I'm really shy and into myself, and I don't like people saying no to me. But I think that's really cute about her, and she goes about it in a very daunting, sweet way, you know. And um, I think my favorite memory will be the other day we had lunch. Yes. Then we, we went, went to the store, store okay. and then we went. To, it was so fun. I'm like, I want to see this girl again. And we've been doing that again and again. So cheers to many more years and cheers. exploring here together and being friends forever. Maybe. No <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these are such cute stories. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um, Allison and I live in the live slash lived in the same building. She's no, she's leaving me. That's that's what that she's leaving. That's what's going on, okay? Okay, she's abandoning me, me. Oh, you hear me? Okay? <laughs> I'm looking directly at you, bro. So, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, and I think my first memory is when you left a note on my door about oh, yeah, laundry or a package or something like that. And yeah. it was just the same thing. It was such a nice, genuine, forward thing to do. Yeah. Because well, you left a note first. I left a note first? Yes. You told me that. Um, I'm a bit tipsy because I'm not that. Like, <laughs> you were like, there's an old lady with your package. And you like described everything about her. Oh, I because. That was so sweet. Because she left a note on your door. She left a note on your door that was like, you're lucky I'm nice. Here's your package. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so I ripped that note off and I put my note instead. <laughs> So yeah, and then my favorite memory about you is probably, I, I want to say this was around Thanksgiving or Christmas or some holiday two years ago, maybe a year ago, and you were just like, you said to our other neighbor, Buki, you were like, you know, why don't you guys come over and we could just like get to know each other, and then you were like, oh, I got cake, and I was like, okay, great. Mind you, you pulled out like four different cakes out of your freezer. I was like, did I black out? I'm so excited. So that's my favorite. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Allison. Happy birthday to you. So is this life of time. Make a wish. It's given to us all <laughs> It gathers round each night, each morn We watch it pass and grow